Hello guys, welcome to Knowledge Pond YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to share HR interview questions and answers for experienced guys. This is the second video of HR interview questions and answers video series. Let me start with very favorite question. The first question would be, can you please tell me about yourself? Hi, well, good morning. Let me start with my educational background. I graduated BA from JNT University in Computer Science and um, after that I did my post-graduation M.Tech from JNT University in Computer Science. Coming to IT experience, I have total uh, 6 plus years of IT experience. I started my IT career from ERC Texas INC as an IT trainer and uh, where I associated around uh, 3 years. Now I am working for Value Tech INC from last three and a half years as a senior software engineer. The next question would be, <coughs> could you please tell me your strengths? My strengths are, I am very cool minded and a stable person. I am technically strong. I like to take up new challenges. So I like explore and um, find new in technologies all the times. Also, I am good at taking right decisions at right time, even a uh, very critical situation and uh, stressful situations as well. The next question would be, could you please tell me your weaknesses? <laughs> as a human being, I do have a minor weaknesses. At a personal level, I am little sensitive. I trust, help and uh, spend time with people. Sometimes uh, people are misusing my help and time. So I'm working out right now to overcome that problem. Apart from that, I need to have a little improvement on my communication and uh, soft skills. The next question would be, could you like, uh, what are your personal interests and hobbies outside of your work? <coughs> my personal interests and hobbies are like, uh, I love traveling and uh, meet, spend time with friends and family members. Also, I do enjoy playing computer games and puzzles. Apart from that, I do watch Hollywood science fiction movies on my free time. <coughs> the next question would be, can you please tell me about your previous job experiences? In my previous organization, I have learned many things and also learned many lessons. Because it was my first organization, I had a lot of scope on learning curve, so I learned how to take up the new challenges and how to think systematic manner. In my current organization, I have been part of last three and a half years, so I am learning many things like how to lead the team and uh, how to manage the time and how to conduct and drive the business meetings. So overall, I can say that I have learned and even now I am learning many skills in both personal and professional level. The next question would be, are there any time you went beyond your current job? If so, how did you handle that to take up the new challenges? In my current organization, I have been part of last three and a half years. Last year, we got a project from new customer altogether. Then my managers asked me to take up that responsibility on preparation of initial prototype. Uh, because my managers trust always, I'm little proactive to take up the new challenges in my team. So I took up that uh, responsibility of initial prototype building and I executed successfully within a time limit. Uh, users were felt uh, so happy with the uh, project outputs. Uh, due to that, today <coughs> we got uh, many projects uh, from same client. So the business got improved a lot to the organization. Even I felt uh, so happy because I was in part of uh, adding business and values to the organization. At the same time, I got good appreciation and a good bonus. Uh, it was really good honor for me. The next question would be, what have you learned from your mistakes on the job? So I learned many lessons from mistakes. I learned time management, planning the task, prioritize the task. I also learned how to analyze and understanding the requirements. I also learned how to control and balance any awkward and tense, any stressful situation. Now I am able to manage any stress in workplaces. <coughs> the next question would be, what roles do you tend to play in a team? 
Tell me about your working style. I tend to play any role which are assigned to me. Apart from that, I worked as a developer, designer, and even sometime lead the team as well. I also good at driving uh, business meetings, also good at uh, motivating the team members. So I can say that I would give 100% based on whatever role is being assigned to me. <laughs> the next question would be, how is your ideal boss? Like what qualities would you like to be in your boss? Uh, I'm not right person how others would be to say it uh, how others would be and uh, I'm just giving my thoughts it is really nice and have a healthy environment if managers have a good attitude to usually mingle with uh, team members in each level as a friendly <coughs> and also good if managers are transparent in all kind of transactions or um, all uh, meetings and also nice and good if managers are able to understand and respect to the team members. <clears throat> the next question would be, tell me about a situation uh, when your decision was challenged or criticized by manager. Uh, I do not find any high criticism on my work so far. As a human, like uh, doing mistakes are very common. So I might have done some mistakes and uh, in general mistakes uh, made me opportunity to correct me a lot. But I respect others' feedback and the comments in very positively on my mistakes. <clears throat> and at the same time, I try to improve myself for not repeating the same mistake again and again. The next question would be, <clears throat> how do you feel about reporting to an anger person? Uh, I really don't mind to report an anger person. So moreover, I don't uh, find any problem working with an uh, anger person. Now because um, we should not judge anybody based on their age or even uh, a number of years of experience, but rather we should understand or uh, judge people based on their uh, skills and intelligence. <coughs> the next question would be, could you please tell me how do you handle pressure or a stressful situation? Yes, initial days of my career as others, I also felt a lot of pressure in this field since I was new to this industry. Uh, after working these many years, now I understand that pressure is integral part of any job, whether it is hard job or even a soft job as well. Sometimes we will gain experience from pressures as well to improve ourselves to manage like uh, every good and bad situations. Uh, now I can work under pressure, but I'll definitely do best to, to avoid any kind of pressure causes from my side. But in some situations, we cannot stop pressures which may cause or arise from different sources. <coughs> the next question would be, have you ever felt being overloaded with work? How did you deal with it? Uh, yes, of course, uh, I have been overloaded sometimes in some cases like last moment of um, project releases, uh, even somebody op based on absent, I do get uh, overloaded. So I do plan in general and prioritize the things which are on me to avoid any overloaded situation. Maximum I'll plan and try to um, avoid being overloaded. <coughs> the next question would be, <coughs> how, would, how would you know you are a successful on this job. Yes, uh, generally I love my job and work. The result I expect from any job would be happy. Uh, apart from that, I'm satisfied with financially and technically. Uh, so I feel uh, I'm in successful, like I uh, succeeded completely in this field. The next question would be, can you work independently? <clears throat> yeah, generally I would like to work as a team and um, I'm a good team player. But if I'm required to work independently as for the project requirement, I will definitely open and flexible. <clears throat> so I would like to work and enjoy both independently and uh, even team member as well. The next question would be explain how would be an asset to this organization. As for my knowledge, the growth of any organization is depends on collective effort. I improve my knowledge regularly to become a leader in this field. So I will dedicate my work and try to give best from my side to add a values to the organization uh, with respect to business or even for adding the values. 
So definitely I can say that I will be part of this organization for long term and uh, will be the good asset to this organization. The next question would be, do you have any special skills <clears throat> that would help to this job? Uh, yes, I am pretty good at um, uh, advanced technologies. Apart from that, um, I am also good at designing and architecturing the projects. I am so proactive to take up the new challenges and even love to work new technologies. And also good at problem solving and troubleshoot the problem in very fast. And also I have good team leading and uh, organization and motivational skills. <laughs> How do you improve your knowledge? So for this question answer would be, I can improve my knowledge by keep visiting blogs and technical articles and or technical videos. I do also write or technical blogs on new technologies. <coughs> the next question would be, how do you evaluate your own performance? <coughs> I will evaluate myself periodically to check on my own performance and um, how I am good at technical standards when competing with market and on, on new technologies. In case if I am lacking in any area, then uh, I'll try to find out the root cause of the problem and I will go through all the situations where I am in lack and uh, then to try to work on each item to compete with the market uh, both technically and uh, and personally as well. <laughs> the next question would be, why should I hire you from the outside when I could promote someone from within the organization? Uh, yes, of course, you are right to promote someone from your organization, but sometimes need to give opportunities to outsider for many reasons, like uh, because your employer can see the only present aspect or present business strategies of uh, your organization within the current scope. But at, as an outsider, we can see various aspects from outside uh, with the fresh thoughts and even uh, good ideas uh, that would help to build a new business. The next question would be, why do you choose this job? Yeah, I was looking for better opportunities. At the same time, I have seen your job opening. So, I have gone through the job description and the company profile. So it matches exactly whatever I was looking out. So I look, I like this job uh, description and the company profile. So I applied for this opening. <laughs> the next question would be, could you describe your ideal job? My ideal job would be more challenging and uh, should have a scope to learn and experiment and have a freedom to express the new ideas. The next question would be, where do you see yourself being in three to five years from now on? Yeah, definitely I can see myself as a being a responsible person in this organization, having a right roles and responsibilities. So I can say that I'll be associating this organization long term and I will be a good asset to this organization I'm sure that this organization can provide and offer me such a growth opportunities to me. <coughs> the next question would be, what is the reason that you have stayed in our current job for quite a long time? Yes, you are right. I have been working here from last three and a half years, uh, but I'm continuously growing both personal and professional, uh, learning new things, doing the responsible, and bigger challenges and uh, implementing the new ideas. Because of all these, I'm quite happy working here for uh, these many years. <clears throat> then why are you looking, uh, like why are you leaving the present job and why are you looking for the other job? The answer would be, I have been working here from last three and a half years, but um, I'm continuously growing both personal and professional, learning new things and doing the responsible and bigger challenges and implementing new ideas, as I told you earlier. I'm so happy with the technical growth, but I'm little disappointed with the salary. Uh, salary uh, due to initial um, uh, initial package. So I'm looking for the salary correction. Uh, apart from that, I really don't have any other issues within the current organization. <laughs> the next question would be, may I contact your current employer for any reference? Yes, of course, sure. I can provide all the required references and the details 
whatever required for um, this position the next question would be what is your current ctc and uh, what is the expected ctc uh, right now i am getting uh, 10 lakhs i am expecting 30 percent hike on the current package in general in general like hr would ask like uh, do you have any uh, variable pay on this current package or uh, do you have all um, complete salary is the fixed salary then you please uh, plan your package uh, the how much you are getting as a uh, variable pay and how much is the fixed one <laughs> the next question would be what is your notice period is that negotiable to join early as per the company policy we have two months notice period uh, but i can join little early from my notice period the next question would be what do you know about us and uh, what do you know about the company the answer would be i have seen your company profile from your the company website i have gone through about um, kind of projects and services branches uh, you people have and also i have gone through the history of the company how you people are doing the business as well i understand that this organization is providing a lot of opportunities to both the freshers and experienced person also i understood that um, how the how like advanced technologies are being applied um, and both product and service kind of project so i'm quite interesting about this uh, organization and uh, looking forward to start my career from this organization the last question would be <clears throat> would you like to ask anything or do you have any questions for me uh, yes i would like to know few things about um, are there any additional benefits or pay support from the regular salary are there any joining bonus if i start a little early are company providing any transportation facilities to the employees are there any like on-site or international opportunities from this uh, position and uh, what are the office uh, regular timings are there any shift uh, do we need to follow yeah, that's all all um, uh, very regularly commonly asked hr interview questions for experienced guys and um, we'll go through the how exactly the interview like hr interview process would happen the mode of uh, mode and duration and number of interview questions and categories of interview questions uh, what are the expectations in both sides and what are the things which we need to keep in the mind while doing the interview <laughs> generally hr interview like the mode of interview is the personal interview the duration of hr interview would be 30 to 45 minutes hr would ask 10 to 15 questions all 30 like uh, all hr interview questions and uh, uh, questions are um, uh, categorized or broadly divided into these categories uh, each questions comes either either one of this category so they will check our educational qualification and uh, job and work experience challenges in the previous job uh, lessons uh, learned from the previous job and uh, check for the our soft and communication demonstration skills our how, how, how we good at uh, behavioral skills how we are balancing the emotionals and uh, what are the strengths and weaknesses what is our attitude and ambition how we are good at uh, open flexible and commitment how we are good at uh, demonstration skills uh, what kind of uh, different qualities do we have what kind of dedication we have and uh, what are the social responsibilities we have uh, what are the short term like long term goals uh, that we have what is the strategy to achieve that short term and long term goals uh, and how we are able to handling the stress level and what are the reasons to leave and uh, what is our expected and current ctcs so uh, while like um, we need to ask our expectation from the hr at the same time what kind of expectation hr guys are expecting from us at the same time we also need some expectations uh, before applying before giving the interviews for any organization we need to check for um, how organization culture growth and focus are there any branches and uh, what are the different clients uh, right now for this current organization what are the different domains uh, the current organization is working for and projects and technologies are there an international assignment or travel plans or roles and responsibilities how this organization help to our our growth and uh, what appraisal policies and timings are following salary packages pays and benefits so by using all these uh, we need to sell out our knowledge at the best price by understanding all these um, uh, all these uh, 
things before attending the uh, any uh, any organization for interview we also need to keep uh, certain things while answering uh, for hr so our answer should be very short and sweet the conversation should be very polite and uh, positive manner uh, ask the interviewer like uh, if you are not clear about any question and uh, you please bring forward the interview every moment to the next level and don't drop at any time at emotional and personal level and uh, showcase your technical skills as uh, as much as possible and don't allow any kind of emotions like uh, stress scare and tension and uh, be cool and be smile and be strong during the interview and uh, try to give the best impression as uh, you are the right person for this position <laughs> and in video 1 i covered all the basic level interview questions uh, definitely the questions in basic level also would ask for experienced guys uh, those questions i didn't cover in this um, uh, video since it would be a repetitive uh, if you are not uh, gone through the video one please go through the video one where i covered very basics and behavioral and emotional level general questions like um, uh, do you get any angry if so how do you come out to normal in some situations like fire what is your actions uh, what will you do if you are offered a job with a salary than higher this one such a kind of questions i covered in the video one uh, please go through the video one as well to get um, complete uh, 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 list of basic questions you would encounter while giving the hr interview yeah thank you very much and um, uh, if you like this video or uh, please share it to your friends or uh, uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel then you would get uh, latest updates or uh, latest videos to you yeah thank you very much for your time